Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on conjugate thirds. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it and see how you go. Conjugate thirds are important when we are asked to rationalise the denominator. For example, the conjugate of m plus the square root of n is m minus the square root of n. In a similar manner, the conjugate of a minus the square root of b is a plus the square root of b. So, the conjugate of 2 plus the square root of 3 is 2 minus the square root of 3. Let us see what happens when we multiply a third by its conjugate. So let's multiply 5 minus the square root of 3 by 5 plus the square root of 3. So that gives us this line here. When we remove the grouping symbols we have that line there. Now those two terms cancel each other out. 25 minus 3 is 22. So you can see when we multiply a third by its conjugate, we get a rational number. So a more involved example, let's remove the grouping symbols and simplify fully. So here we have this third here and that's the conjugate. So we multiply them together, that gets us that line there. When we remove the grouping symbols, we have this line here. So that's 25 by 3, because the square root of 9 is 3. 10 the square root of 18, minus 10 the square root of 18, that cancels itself out. And 4 the square root of 36 is 4 times 6. So that's 75 minus 24, and that gives us 51. So it can be seen that multiplying a third by its conjugate gives a rational number. Now I hope you realised this is the same as the product of a sum and difference which gives you the difference of two squares and that's why the answer always turns out to be a rational number. Simplify each of the following thirds by rationalising the denominator. So this is the original sum here so we multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate third of 5 plus the square root of 3. And that's there. So the next line is here. 7 fives are 35, minus 7 the square root of 3. Now here, remember the product of a sum and a difference is the difference of two squares. So it's 5 all squared, which is 25. The square root of 3 all squared, which is 3. So that's that line there. So that gives you the 35 minus 7, the square root of 3, over 22. And there's your rational denominator. Slightly more involved. We have to rationalise the denominator here of this original sum. So we multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate third. And all you do is you, you make that minus sign a plus. So when we multiply through, that's our numerator. Square root of 3 by the square root of 7 is the square root of 21. Square root of 3 by the square root of 5 is the square root of 15. Now remember the product of a sum and a difference is the difference of two squares. I can't stress that enough. It's very important. So that's why I've written the square root of 7 all squared minus the square root of 5 all squared. The numerator remains the same. When you square that you get 7. When you square that you get 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. And there it is with a rational denominator. Here's a quick quiz to help you. Please check through the video at any time. What is the meaning of the following? Water under the bridge. Now I'm going to leave you to work that out. If you did high school science, and a lot of people did, 
I think you can work out why that's water under the bridge. It's a tricky one, but I think you'll get it. Here are the answers to the quick quiz, and the video is at your disposal. If you found this video useful, please subscribe on the next slide. You will receive a notification when the next video is available. Please share with your friends. Hope to see you next lesson.